So guys, this is the main entrance to Coral Sea Water World. We're just going to walk you straight down. We're not going to have too much talking in this video. So we hope you like the video and let's see how it goes. I'm just going through into the entrance. So we have the reception over here. So we'll walk down the main stairwell from the top. We have all these little local shops in the hotel. And the main, this is the main restaurant, which is closed at the moment, but we'll come back to that later. So as you come out of the main entrance, this is where they have the evening entertainment. Have movies on for the kids on the screen. We have the bar here that's open on the night time. So just on the left from the main entrance is also the entrance to the water park. Now the water park's closed at the minute. And we're still gonna take you for a walk around there so you guys can see what's going on and what it's all about. Big. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so if you walk up here, look. Alright, let's walk up these steps. This is going to be part of the Lazy River, which goes all the way around the park. Are you okay, yeah? Alright, so we have all the main slides here. The uh, older kids and adults, you have to be over 120 centimetres to ride on these slides. Obviously the Lazy River goes from the back there, goes all the way around the whole part of the park. And then obviously comes through this part here this little bridge. There's a little bar over there and we'll show you what that is in a moment. The lazy river comes under this bridge here and goes straight over there and there's normally water all dripping down from there so you get really really wet through the lazy river, good for the kids. Now the lifeguards, lifeguards around here are really helpful, very safe with the kids. We've got some really, really big slides, the boomerangs and the whiplashes, and also the one above me, which is the space ball. And all the slides, when you come down, these are the adult slides, of course. All enter into this pool here, which isn't too deep. It's only one meter on one. There's plenty of sunbeds as well. If you want any help with the sunbeds, the lifeguards will help you move them around. If you're over 120 centimetres, these slides over here are good for a race down. Like I said, they are off at the moment. It's early hours of the morning. 
water, but it's nice and quiet, so it's really good to record. Now this is the kids' play area, part of the water park. It's really good for your young little toddlers. They have the little slides. Big splash bucket on the top that comes down. Kids love it when the uh, splash bucket comes down, shoots and drops all over their head. Obviously there's more water moving around at the moment. But like I say, it's, the water park is closed at the moment, so you can't see much of what's going on. If I had more time, I would have came earlier. Now, so there's plenty of little slides for them, it's all over the place. There's a little adventure things to walk up, ropes, climbing and all sorts in there. Now just over here, behind me, this is the wave pool. Now, if you've got little kids, it's recommended that you go in with an adult, just in case, because the waves can get a little bit like strong for them and stuff. So you can go up to like 120 centimetres over there with the waves. And just to the right of the wave pool, it's the little tots area. So if you, you little toddlers really, you know, you cut a little bit too small. Go down the little slides here. It's not much for them, but it's really exciting for little toddlers. You know, crawling in the pool and it's only 0.25 centimetres some good guys around here as well like I say they will help you with everything really friendly people and we're just going to go for a walk to the back end of the water park. This guy as well is a really friendly guy. Are you morning, yeah? You okay? Hello, yeah. There's some, some really good guys over here, you know, over by the bar. This place here, they do snacks in the afternoon. I believe it's by 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then it turns into the Asian restaurant on the evening, which you have to book at the main reception. I will show you where that is later. Now, these are some good guys right here. One of my favorite barmen. So can I can have a drink while I'm here, please. Um, I like one beer. And what would you like? An apple juice, yeah? Pineapple and orange, yeah? Okay, we'll have one of them then while we're here. A really fast service as well, brilliant guys. We are going home today. Thank you. Uh, what time does this snack bar close and open? What time is it open? Open four o'clock. Right, so this one, so the one here is four to six, and the one over there. Thank you. Right, so this one here, it's a little snack area. I'll, have, I'll quickly show you. It's a little snack area just in this door. Just for a quick snack when you're around by the pool. So you got your baps, your salad, some fries. They normally have some burgers in here as well. A few little breads and some little tasty cakes. Like I say, it's only a small snack area. Just if you fancy a little bit peckish. It's gonna go back outside this door. Got it? Okay. So that one's open from 4 p.m. till 6. Also, just in case you fancy a little snack before the main restaurant opens. And also right here, 
they have a little barbecue section which opens at 11 a.m. and I believe closes about 3, 3 p.m. They do like barbecue chicken and barbecue fish and stuff like that. I promised I will go back over these stairs and show you where the other bar is. So you've got the kids part there, and just behind you obviously, these steps that go up. It takes you to the next bar. Now if you've not been here before, I will point out that just behind this bar Okay, yeah? Just behind the bar There is male and female toilets Pirates for the boys And the Pirates for the girls Let's go back round to the front. Oh, so this part opens at like 10 a.m. That's what time the water park opens. You can get like your local beers, your spirits like your rum, your vodka, your gin, like mixers and stuff like that, and kids' cocktails and mocktails and everything. And normally on here, let's say 10 a.m., you'll have um like many kids meals like chicken nuggets and stuff like that and like all your chips and your salad over there like I say it's not open at the moment so I can't really show you that but if you fancy a quick snack it's all good now just next to the bar here there's all these inflatables and you start the lazy river here see that's where the lazy river starts So there's plenty of great slides for all the older kids, as well as the little kids, and the lazy river that goes all the way around. I'm going to head back in towards the main entrance again and show you the rest of the park. Guys, as promised, I've come back out the main entrance again, where the first original bar was, an entertainment area on the night. And this time, I'm going to go to the right. over to the right here it's where you'll find your kids club so you got your mornings half 10 to half 12 and your afternoon three o'clock to five o'clock so if you fancy dropping the kids off for a moment or you can even stay and play with them they have a kids club here and they have loads of entertainment on the inside for the young kids do like colourings, paintings, little fun activities of all the other kids. And I don't know if you can see it, but just over the back here. In fact, you know what? We'll go round so we can have a look. So just over the back behind the kids' club, you have seven-a-side football pitch and the basketball court just behind that at the bottom now it's recommended if you want to play football on the evening because it can get really really hot during the day depending on what time of year you come here now i'm here in august right now and it's 42 degrees so that's pretty spicy so they do recommend for some people who can't handle the heat to come between april May sort of time. Uh, that's up to you of course. If you can handle a bit of heat, to go for it. Come a little bit later on in the year. So 
the back at, by the main entrance again and bar. So I think we'll take you for a walk down to where the main pools are now, just so you can have a good look at where they are and what's going on down there. So there's loads of different routes you can take. Little winding paths that go running. Very quiet at the moment. Uh, should we take this way, yeah? main section of the main poles. It's another bar over here. That's 1.5 meters over this side. There's a few guys over here as well. Let's see if we can go and get a drink off these guys, yeah? You okay, yeah? Very good. So this is one of the bars, the main pool. So plenty of seats. It's normally a lot busier. But it seems that everyone's gone out. Into the, um, down to the beach maybe. This is like the first main pool, which is also you can sit by the bar and relax over there. I'm going to walk over to the next. Part of the main pools. So there's more toilets over there, look, you can see the signs. Right there, look, see. Boys and your girls. Let's go this way. We like to keep you on the path so you don't walk on the grass to ruin it. But I'm going to be a little bit naughty here because it looks like someone's already walked over here already. A little bit cheeky, but we do it anyway. A little table tennis area here for all your table tennis fans. Now this part's really, really shady. So it's nice here if you don't like the heat. You come down to this part, like shallow to deep. So it's really, really nice down here for all ages. So as you can tell, it's like an inclining pool. So it goes really shallow. It's deeper as you go along. See everyone friendly, yeah? So it's 0.5 and obviously it gets deeper. Just go around one meter, you know. They have these little guidelines as well on the pool. So where the ropes are on the balls, that's the different depths of the pool. There's a little pool over here. It's good for little toddlers. Chill in, relax, do whatever you need to do. It's 0.4. It's all good for the little kids. So you got much deeper over here. We'll go back to the other pool in a moment. As I'm walking around this way, it makes it a bit easier. So I'll show you the depth of this pool. So on this pool, it literally drops from 1.2 meter to 1.5 meter, all the way over in to 1.5, that's the deepest part of the pool. And we'll go back. 
back around this way where it gets shallower and shallower now. You okay here? Yeah? So the inclining pool over there that actually comes down comes around this way as well so we'll get deeper as we go around so to 1.2 it comes around this way goes all the way around now I'm a little bit thirsty now so I'm going to grab another drink as I'm going Couple of good barmen down here that I know about. You okay, yeah? I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, yeah? Yes. I would like a drink. You know what I like? You know what I like, yeah? So you can make me drink. You should know what I drink now. It's alright. Alcohol or. I have an alcoholic one. So it's my last day today, so you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd, I thought I'd show every, show everybody, like you know, I do special one for you. Yeah, yeah. You show everybody how friendly you are. It's gonna be on my YouTube, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to drink while you're here? On a mocktail, yeah? A special one for me, yeah? These good guys, yeah? They always make me special drink. Try to get me drunk. <laughs> See, look at his smile, yeah? He's like, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. You're welcome. Ready, yeah? Yeah. Come on, let's keep walking around. Right, so we go over here then. This is the back end of the bar pool. We have more seats going around this way. You never know, you might be famous by the end of the day, yeah? Huh? You might be famous by the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> That's your throw him in. <laughs> oh, it's only water, you have to wash in it. This guy's having fun. Alright, so this is the deep part of the pool again. And over this side, like I say, it's the bar with the seats. Let's grab this little bridge. Take you to the other part of the resort. Show you a couple more little things down this way. Just over this way, right near the back of the resort, is what you call the Mermaid Bar and Restaurant. Also some good people over here as well, good members of staff, help you out if you need anything. So let's go over here and have a little look. So this one is open from 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. This is the Mermaid Bar, that's what they call it. So we have loads of things over here. We have drinks in the corner over there. And we have chicken wraps and chicken paninis and skewers. And we have burgers and pizzas, fresh spaghetti and pasta all made for you. Some good guys in here as well. Very, very good guys. Oh yeah. This is the Mermaid Bar. Just round the back of the Mer so I said plenty of seats in as well. Good people down here. Just round the back of the Mermaid Bar. If you're having a drink and stuff like that. We find the toilets. The ladies just here.
and the men's just here. Now let's turn back round. So I say the mermaid bar over here. Really friendly, good food, plenty of snacks. And just behind that we have the Water World Spa and Butterfly. Now they do massage here. Really friendly guys, they do massage. What else do you do here? You have gym and everything as well, yeah? Yes, you have yeah, a pool in here. We have a, yes. Can I have a look around? Yes. Can I have a look around? Yes, we are busy. Just two minutes, you can take care of it. Am I allowed to record? Just two minutes, you can take care of it. Just two minutes. We just arrived today? Yeah, we're, no, no, we're leaving today. We're leaving today. Like sure. a YouTube video for when I go home for you, everybody. This is the reception? So this, this is the reception. Yes. Obviously, we can't go around here too much because there's people having massage and everything. But if you need to come here, Everybody will help you out yes. and they can, book in. they can book in for you. Thank you. So let's pop down. Pop down here if you want massage. Nails, everything, yeah? Facials, the lot. It's all down here. Now, right next to the butterfly spa, you are right next to the beach. All right, so let's go and have a little check of that beach. You can see what's going on down here. Okay, let's come on to the beach on the east side. Still very hot. Take a little walk right down to the pier at the end of the beach. Let's see what's going on down there. Just on the right side of me, you have this. Aquarius Diving Club. I'll teach you how to do all the diving and everything if you want to come. Obviously, they do come as extra charge. So, get your prices and deals first. going on down here at the moment. You can see how clear the water is. More clear as you walk further up. Obviously the tide's really low at the moment. It's all good for walking in. You can go quite far out to be fair when the tide's low. In fact, even when the tide's all the way in, it only sort of comes up to your waistline when you go quite far up. Until you obviously go all the way up to the end of the pier. So, let's walk down this pier and see how long it takes us, shall we? So what do you think of your holiday so far? It's good. What do you like about it? Um, I like the pools. Do you like the pools like in the beach? The hotel That's good. The water's really clean up here as well, isn't it? In the beach. Yeah. It's like clear look. So, what didn't you like? The entertainment. You didn't like the entertainment? No. Well, a lot a bit of boring for me. A lot of people say that it's best to go off the resort to go and see some entertainment. So you can go to places like the old market. Oh. Go to Nama Bay, which is meant to be quite nice, in Soho Square. There's a little bit of them the other day, they were pretty good actually. Soho Square is really nice on the night time. 
I recommend the old market you go on the night as well. Narma Bay is good on the night if you're a little bit older. You, know, you have more of a clubbing vibe there. But if you want to go to Narma Bay and you've got young children, I suggest you go early in the morning before the sun gets too hot in the afternoon. The uh, water's getting a little bit deeper here now. Let's have a little look over here on this side. You never know. We might see some fish. We did the other day, didn't we? You normally see a little bit more, a bit deeper up. But we're almost at the end of the pier anyway. Man. It's not. It's a long walk. You know, 100 metre pier maybe. I'd say it's a little bit. I'd say it's a little bit. I'd say it's a 100 metre walk maximum the pier length. I'd say you can see the cover just down there, look. Right here. You can see it right there. So it's not too deep, though. There's one right there, right it's now. Look, where is it? Can you see it? One of them right there. see a few more. I'm not sure if I've got that on my camera then because I can't really see my screen. But it is really bright. I don't see it in the pier now. It didn't take that long, did it? Two ends of the pier, we have the east end and the north end. And this is where people come snorkeling. It's actually pretty good under here actually. I've been in there myself. So this is where most people have a little snorkel at the end of the pier. Obviously you have to stay in the guidelines. See the orange balls going all the way around and the guidelines so you don't go too deep out because we don't want any nasty surprises coming out and in underneath, do we? You know what I mean by nasty surprises? Da -da. They come pop down the steps and go and have a little snorkel. Look. If you haven't got a snorkel, get some goggles and hold your breath. I think when I was in there. Most of the fish that I saw was actually underneath. So we go down a little bit. So most most of the fish that I saw, the best ones, were underneath the pier. I mean, no fit state to be snorkeling today though, because I have my going home clothes on and no snorkel. So you can experience that yourself and come and find out for yourself. So. Really, really nice here. The mountains in the background. It's absolutely brilliant. You can see the mountains. Now, if you're up really, really early in the morning, now this is, the, I say, the north to the pier, but over to the west of the pier, that's where you get your sunrise. Now, you get your sunset obviously over to the east, which will be on the opposite side. So it's a little bit hard to see a sunset over here unless you go travelling over to other places. It's going to head back, back up towards the beach now. And I'll catch you in a moment. Okay, so a little shortcut there to save a little bit of time. We'll just come back onto the beach. Crocs are sandy, yeah? And this is why I wear beach shoes. 
I recommend it. Beach shoes are really good, by the way, because if you walk into the ocean, there's a bit of coral there, so beach shoes are handy. They look like, they look like scuba diving shoes, you know, but they're really, really good. Durable, washable, everything. So, my daughter says Crocs because she's like, it just looks ugly, so I don't make it. So she don't really care about her feet, clearly. You know, I, f I feel more about comfort and what you can wear everywhere. Because you care what nobody thinks. I don't care what nobody thinks, exactly. Probably. Right, so as we come off the pier, we've gone to the right. Over here, some guys over here that do a lot of interesting things. So we can get kite surfing, which is really cool. Which you fly in the air with a kite. A surfboard on your feet, which is brilliant. This is a banana boat. It's also, so scary, it's also a little play area for the kids. You can rent a, rent a bike as well if you really want to go and sweat yourself out. Go for a push bike ride. We we'll also have little attachments for little kids. Just over here, there's another bar which is open at certain times of the day. Ah, uh, as my daughter just pointed out, we have a camera. This bar over here. It's like a set of times of the day. Now this is where you'll find the pool parties, the beach parties, and they also do the phone parties up here as well. So this bar is closed at the moment, but it's open in the morning. 11 till 5, I do believe. But they have phone parties down here. Like that. They also have the white party down here, party on the beach on the evening. There's also showers if you have your... Yeah, you do have your showers, in case you want to wash a little bit of the sand off. You know, you have these little showers right here, good for washing the sand off, yeah. Getting the sea water off your skin. So them are pretty cool, to be fair. So the showers are good for washing the sea water off sand off your feet and body and stuff like that and it doesn't take long to dry because of this big sun right here uh, we're heading back towards the main pools again now aren't we which are now closing up because I do believe it's time the main evening restaurant to open. Yeah, so the bars up here, I don't know if you can see them. They have little bar stalls going all the way around, which we mentioned earlier. A little seat at the bar in the pool. All good jobs. Like I said, nice friendly people look. There's a lifeguard. Lifeguard's pretty good round here as well. Any little problems, and on the whistle they are. So now I'm going to head back up to the main hotel, give you a quick tour of well, my room anyway, and then we'll go to the restaurant just after that. So the rooms on the outside of the buildings you have your lower ground. First floor and then second floor. Now I'm on the second floor, which is actually pretty nice because I get a better view of the sea. So a uh, little walk through here. Let me take you up to the room. Uh, so like I said, I'm staying on the third floor. And I'm in room 2218. In fact I've had two rooms, 2218. 2217 which are actually interconnecting rooms so we're going to come into the room 
And just on the right is the toilet. We have sink, hair dryer, and ooh, ooh, it's me. The toilet here, just around the corner. The shower. These showers are pretty good to be fair. They're really good. More pressure on them. That's really good. You always put fresh towels in your room every day if you want them. Just if you come out of there, you have big sliding doors. They set you up with three beach towels in every room every day. And the rooms come with coat hangers. I recommend if you've got like a few extra dresses for women and shirts that you hang up, bring a couple of your own. So they're only coat hangers, don't weigh them too much in your luggage. And the second sliding drawer of an extra quilt. There's a laundry bag here that you can use. There's a laundry service for it. And the safe. Now the safe is easy to set. I'm just going to show you a quick password that I do for this one. And then lock. And now that's locked. To open it obviously. Same password and it'll open on its own. When you leave your room, you put your password in and leave it open. Simple as that. Now we go into the room. Yes. That's a little bit messy. Because I've been sleeping in it, clearly. A big queen size bed. Bedside cabinets. Also, I forgot to show you underneath the safe. Two very, very big drawers there. Okay. Your one, then your two. Good for a load of clothes as well. Plus all the shelves. Now I use this rack here, placing my suitcases on. And use the bottom for my shoes. Now in here, just underneath my TV, I have the mini fridge. Now the mini fridge doesn't come stocked with anything but water. So no beer, unfortunately, or soft drinks. Nice 42 inch TV, Samsung TV. And we have a big dressing table. Really, really nice. There's a little big chair here, which actually turns into a sofa bed if you want to make an extra bed up. And single bed here. And like I said, I did have an interconnecting room, which is this door here goes through obviously into the other interconnecting room which I can't open now because they're sleeping on the other side. Now let's go out out the balcony and lock the door. These are really handy for drying towels or any swim costumes up. The little chairs in the corner of the table, ashtray for the smokers and Look at the view, look. Like I say, room 2217 or 2218. Remember all the rooms that start with 2210 to 140. You'll have seaside view. View of all the pools. And so it's really, really nice here in the evening and the night time to see the mountains in the distance. Oh, we showed you earlier from the pier. Just behind the door is a switch which turns on the outside light if you need it. If you want to come and chill on the night time. Let's close that door a moment. So, plenty of switches on here lower ones for these lamps here USB charging phone to get out of reception room service and everything also you have the room service menu here it's not too expensive or anything so that's all good there's little information cards laundry service is actually there tells you all the information right there air conditioning system now if you look at mine, got the top one here, and if you look at this part here, 
brightness on the auto to low to medium to high. Now I just have mine on auto or low. I keep it set on 22 degrees. Now you can change the temperature with this part here. As you notice at the top of the temperature, but come on, 22 degrees is fine. We also have this part here, which is cool. Vent, heat. Now, come on, let's keep it cool, yeah? We don't want it hot in here. This is Egypt. And that's it, guys. That's the room tour over. Oh, I forgot the most. The third floor, most important guy, yeah? This guy in here, Mohammed. Okay, yeah? yeah okay. Mohammed, yeah, he's the best guy yeah, yeah. in Coral Sea Water World. He will help you with everything. everything. He brings you everything you need. Yes. And he is so polite and nice. Yeah, he said it's okay, boss. Okay. Yes, boss. Now, I'll see you again, yes? Yeah, yes, see you again, yes. Thank you. Now, Mohammed is a really nice guy. He's brilliant. He helped me with everything. He done some like really nice bed art for me on my bed. I'll show you them later on with some images that I have, photos that I've taken. I also have some photos, some videos of the pool parties and other stuff around. So I'll add all them into my video as well. So I was going to walk back up to the restaurant as promised. Because I do believe it's open now. 6pm to 10pm, the restaurant. In fact, I can smell it. I can also smell barbecue going on right now. I can actually smell barbecue, look. They're cooking the barbecue on the evening as well for people who like barbecue food. That's going on over there. Some people like barbecue food indoors too. Uh, so I'm going to head to the main restaurant. I'll catch you up back there. Main lobby. And just, just to let you know, this is where you book your a la carte me menus. So you can do this easy on the screen, just follow the instructions. That's to book your a la carte, your Asian and your Italian restaurant. This is part of the animation team. And let's go into the main restaurant. So into the main restaurant then. Let's go and have a little look what we got. So come to the first bar, you can get your coffee, your hot chocolate, your maccas and everything, your juices and your beers. This is good guy right here, yeah? Hey, Mohammed, he will help you with everything here, yeah? And hey, Mohammed, can I have a beer, please? Yeah, yeah these guys, Hassan as well, he's always so good guy, yeah? Will help you with everything that you need in your health hotel. I think he's gonna make me a nice beer now. Yeah, this guy Mohammed, yeah, he's a really good guy, yeah. Sometimes they are fast, sometimes they are previous orders, so it'll take them longer. I'm just gonna have one beer, yeah? So Sam is like a good guy as well, he will help you. Uh, he's also a good guy, yeah. This is a very good guy as well. He will help you with everything you need. Thank you very much. Got my beer, look, see, fast service, yeah, beer. Right, so there's plenty of tables in here. Loads of places for your families to sit down. So restaurant opens 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. I'm gonna start from the back end. We'll show you around the restaurant. So there are plenty of seats for everybody. Loads of seating going on, you alright? Right, so over at the far end of the restaurant we have like a little kids corner. They can have like spaghetti bolognese, chips, little pasta and sausages, little cakes and salad. Over here we have the bread section. Loads of different types of bread, little like mini pizzas, stuff like that. I recommend this red bread over here, this is really, really nice. I tried that a few times. It's olive bread and everything. 
Over here we have like the salad bar. It is chilly very hot by the way. Have a salad bar and everything, call your little pickles and stuff like that. I like little mini sushis and things like this. All these items like I'll show you now look. Grilled eggplant, cheddar cheese, chicken tenderi, pepper granny, pepper fish, chicken wings, feta cheese, basil sauce, the baba gula salad, yogurt and herbs, oriental salad. And all the different sauces, we've got ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, yeah? We have like all the different um, olive oils and vinegars and stuff like that. There's more salads over here. Let's go to my other side right now. So over here, we have chips and my daughter again. We got some chips here. We have some french fries. Chips, just like the English chippy over here. So the potatoes. Potato cakes as well. Loads of herbs and spices, as you can see. Lots of ketchup, yeah? Best place to get your bowls, throwing your plates is over the back here. Here's this place to get your bowls and stuff. We have some soups here. With the seafood soup and the tomato soup. So over this side we have a bit of what the rice is and stuff like that. What we've got in here, beef struggling off tonight. Some sauteed vegetables and the roll there. This is roasted fish. What we have here over here? Uh, oven baked macaroni beef lasagna, yeah? Very nice. Chicken and coriander. Hi. Jacket potatoes, you okay, yeah? Uh, some fried fish as well, yeah? For people who love the fried fish, it's nice for the chips. Over here, yeah, we get like the stir fry, the spaghetti bolognese and stuff like that. Have the mixed pastas and all these things. Very nice chefs as well. Now in the morning we have a different menu, yeah, in the morning. We have like bacon over this side, we have vegetables on the night. Now over this side we have pizza in the evening. And in the morning we have like egg, and poached egg, scrambled egg, and omelettes, fried egg and stuff like that. Let's go over this side. A few little hidden secrets over here for people who like got the curries and the casseroles, things like this. A couple of items over here as well on the hard side. Some nice steamed fish, some more steam fried rice, boiled potatoes. Right now this is the most important part of the restaurant, the dessert section, yeah? Some people might find it boring, but a lot of people find it the most important part. It adds that sweetness to your holiday. So look at all these nice little wonders. It's a nice little cake, desserts, fresh fruit and everything like that. Oh, look at these. This is like, look at this. In fact, I might have one of these right now. Nice little nice cakes and everything like that. All your fresh fruits. It's really, really nice in this section. I say the menu in the, this is the evening menu. You have your dinner time menu, and then you have your afternoon menu. Obviously you have your morning menu as well. So there's plenty of food for everyone. Like I said earlier, you also have your other restaurants. Round by the pools, the mermaid bar. Obviously the barbecue section outside, which you can see right now. I'll quickly take you out there to the barbecue section, which is also on during the day. So we're going to have a little quick look, see what's going on outside. 
So this is the barbecue section outside. So you got your shish kebab right here. Now I love my barbecue, so this is all good for me. See, it smells very nice. These are good chefs as well, yes? The barbecue is beautiful. Got the chicken and the shish kebab. See, look at this, look, at, look how, that's why I love barbecue, look, look how juicy this is right now, yeah? And this is the restaurant. There's so many different choices, so many different foods. Very big restaurant, loads of seats. And there's another bar over at the far end of the restaurant. You can also get like on this side, we can get like, um, we can get coffees from here, maybe mako, espresso and stuff like that. Water, pineapple juice and orange juice. This is also good guys, yeah? These two guys are very nice guys, yeah? Also very good. They will help you with everything that you need. Yeah? These are, these are good people. They help me all the time. So we'll show you around the rest of the restaurant now. They said loads of seats, yeah, loads of people, loads of happy times. The last thing in my night, oh, it's got me good old Stella. See this guy looking, I don't remember his name, yeah? What is your name? Samuel. Yeah, see this is a good guy, right? He's always in the restaurant, morning, day, night, and he served me the perfect Stella Artois, yes? Thank you very much, sir. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you very much.